The long wait is over. Biomutant is finally upon us. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Xbox One version of this game. The Immortal John Hancock here with another video. I'm excited about sharing my opinions about Biomutant. I put about 20 hours into the game and got to a level 20 character. I'm gonna show you some gameplay footage, give you my thoughts, both good and bad. Let's take a look. I had zero expectations going into this game. The game's story starts off pretty standard where the world is ending and it's up to you to unite tribes together to fight evil. You're then greeted with an amazing customization options to fully deck out your character and choose kind of what breed. I mean, I really like this about this game. And so you can choose many different things about how your character looks. Now you're gonna notice off the get go that you know you're pretty much essentially controlling a, a, a furry, pretty much a, a human style animal, and and there's lots of different looks and and sizes and and resistance. There's there's lots of customization on how you look and what your character is going to be able to do. And I really love that about this game. It just it gives more options than most RPGs out there. And I, I like that, it makes it unique. You then can choose your class. I chose a commando for my character, but there's many different options you can choose here. While this game is not yet optimized for the PS5 or Xbox Series X, it looks pretty good. And I really enjoyed the scenery. I love that you could you know, see something on the horizon and just run towards it. The different areas and regions are varied in both graphics and color, it really kind of sets the mood. The world is fairly large, filled with many things to do, tons of side quests. I really have enjoyed what I've played so far. Uh, if you like playing through a game and you like multiple side quests, this is an awesome game. There's lots of different things. It is kind of a collect-a-thon where you're gathering something or delivering something there's many different side quests that do aid you with various loot and experience that is going to be important as you progress in the game and fight ever so difficult bosses. There's many ways of travel that are offered in this world as well as devices that help you go off a mountain so you can want to glide down. You can climb up mountain sides as well. You can even get a mech which is pretty cool as I really enjoyed kind of the, the scenery and the, and, and the varied landscapes offered in Biomute. It definitely was something that I appreciated looking at and I can't wait to see what they offer for a next gen option. Let's talk about combat. So I went with a commando where I specialize in guns as well as hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, I have kind of a, a bat style weapon, it's a crush style weapon, and so you learn moves and you can upgrade your equipment, I'll show you that in a bit. But yeah, I have a, a kind of a gun weapon here and it, it has a, a fairly fast fire rate. There's so many different ways of com doing combat. You can do hand to hand, you can dual wield with either weapons or guns or both, and there's a mix of of magic and, and use of special abilities. It's pretty awesome. And you even got Kung Fu. So you can really do some awesome moves in this game. Definite strength of this game is the leveling up of the character. There's many different things that you can do other than your vitality, strength, and intellect. You can choose really anything how you want to progress in this game. And so I really love that about that. Not only do you have upgrade points but there's whole light and dark thing where it's kind of a choose your own adventure. You can be a jerk and want to kill everybody and be bad, or you can be nice and help everybody and you get light and dark points. And depending how you do that opens up different quests. I love that they did that. There's also Psy powers. There's these shrines around the land that you pray to and you, you get Psy points. There's also mutations where you get bio points by killing certain enemies and finding items around in the world. You can get these and then choose how you want to 
upgrade and customize your character. So there's many varied things and aspects of this game I love. You can choose the special uh, abilities. You can choose even your Wung Fu, which is uh, awesome. And you have lots of different moves that you can learn and even customize special moves for your class. Like I'm a commando, so I have these extra moves that I can do. And it's really neat that you can kind of just choose how you want to uh, upgrade your character and what moves you want to learn, what moves you don't want to learn. I love that about this. There's there's crazy amount of customization. They really thought about the combat where this game shines. Biomutant also has an awesome loot system where you're constantly trying to gather things to create guns, upgrade armor, as well as fine health packs. And so I really like that about this world. Uh, the loot system is just well done. There's just, there it, it makes you want to scavenge everything. And I really enjoyed that. There isn't technically a weight limit. So I found myself just gathering a bunch of things. Um, and if you don't know what to do, you just keep onto it. You can sell things, trade things, uh, break down things into other materials to create things that are going to work for your character. I love that about this game. The loot system definitely was well done. It's, it's easy to understand and it's everywhere. There is loot absolutely everywhere, which makes you want to explore this world and upgrade your character. As you gather loot, you then can customize the weapon of your choice. I went with a gun and it was just awesome how they did this. You have to gather certain resources on top of the loot that you gather to customize specific weapons and upgrade armor. And I like that. So you find these totems everywhere that you have to smash. And then you gather those resources, whether it's plastic, wood, rubber, or metal. And each customization cost resources and it's pretty easy to find these things let's talk about the creatures and the bosses that you have to fight definitely has kind of that monster world kind of vibe to it where you know the creatures start fairly small but they can get rather large i like that uh, you can get various loot from the bigger animals that you have to kill and it's pretty awesome you know each creature has its own weakness and you know just like many other uh, action RPGs you have to find out their weaknesses and you know exploit them and so I found myself uh, liking this game quite a bit combat's pretty good I did find it's a little bit tricky sometimes to uh, heal yourself in the heat of battle you have to press uh, you know a direction on the control pad and so I, I thought that was okay that was probably like the downside while combat's really good uh, if you find yourself kind of low on health, set up to heal yourself is not necessarily the best. I did not like that. There are several puzzles that you have to solve in this game, and I found most of them to be uh, non-annoying. And, that, and that's the best compliment I can give because I normally don't like super difficult puzzles connected to like an action RPG. The ones placed in this game... Uh, are fairly straightforward. I didn't find them to be really anything exciting, nor did I find any of them to be fairly annoying. So it was just kind of thrown in, and it just, for me, the, the puzzles in this game are take it or leave it. While it wasn't a deal breaker for me, some may not enjoy the commentator as well as some of the dialogue. It is it is fa fairly cheesy in some areas, and you know you can turn off the commentary in the settings, but you know some of the dialogue between characters is just kind of odd. As you know, you're 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 playing as these like furry creatures, and you know they're they're talking about a lot of items that they don't know exactly what they are. It wasn't a deal breaker for me, but it's going to turn off some. I did come across a few glitches as well as townspeople that were staring at walls while having dialogue with you. But overall, this is an excellent package, a great new IP and a fun one to play. If you're into customization, if you like to customize your weapons, if you love loot and you love exploratory worlds and fighting large bosses, 
You know, Biomutant does a lot of things right. And I could see many people enjoying this and it gets a thumbs up for me. There's a ton to like about this game. And I think this is gonna be something that's gonna be appreciated by many RPG fans out there. I like a lot of things about this game. The whole animal thing, I don't know if I'm totally sold on that, but all the customization that you can do in this game, there's a ton of side quests. And this is something that I would like to hopefully have more time in the summertime to, to pursue and beat. What did you think? Comment below. Are you getting this for a particular console or computer? It's coming out on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Hopefully they're, they're working on next-gen versions of this game and they'll have further information about that down the road. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. You have a good day.